Hi, today I'm going to show you how to add length to a sweater or a cardigan after the fact. After you've bound off, you've ended up with it too short, what do you do? So I'm going to show you the method that I use here for when this has happened to me, whether it's been knitting a sweater or cardigan for myself or for my son Torbjörn. And today I'm going to show you this method on a sweater that I knitted for Torbjörn about one year ago. It's still good in the width. He could still wear it, but it just needs a bit more length on it. So we're going to do a little bit of sweater surgery and I'll show you step by step how to do this. So here you can see Torbjörn's sweater. Um, this one is in stockinette stitch. It's a top down raglan sweater and it's knit in Let Lopi by Eastex, um, which is a 100% Icelandic wool. Um, and I've knit it in three colour repeating stripes here. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the sweater around and that is to make sure that the new stitches that I'm going to be making will be a continuation of the old stitches that are already knitted here. Over here I've started by finding my beginning of the round again and going around, picking up all the stitches all the way around the sweater along this colour change. And it's a great idea to just see if on the sweater that you're adjusting, if you can find a spot like this, just to make it easier for yourself to be sure that you are picking up along the same row all of the time. And then I'm going to use this colour change between the green and the orange. That is going to be my cut point. I'm adding length to the sweater here rather than further down at the bottom because I have a twisted rib edge here that I'm happy with. I'm going to unravel these rows here to come back to a neat edge. I'm going to take up my needles and continue my knitting as to make another three sections, I think. I'll then re-knit the two sections here. I've used a four millimeter needle here where I've gone through picking up the stitches along this colour change here between the orange and the yellow all the way around. And this is to keep these stitches secure because when I cut in the middle, I don't want things unravelling back too much. So I want a little bit of safety room in a way so that I can cut and then unravel back to these points and replace these colour changes here as I'm knitting my extra rows. So now's the exciting bit where we're going to be cutting all the way along, all the way around the sweater. Now remember when you do this you've got some some leeway so don't worry too much um, it's going to be totally fine. Just um, just cut as straight as you can, basically, going all the way around. So here we go. Roll. You can see that with this um, Icelandic yarn, that because of the nature of the wool, it really holds together quite nicely. You see there that the stitches kind of uh, catch on to each other 
and obviously this sweater has been um, has been washed a good few times as well so that kind of helps the stitches to mesh as well so you can see here that now I've cut all the way around and it's quite a nice cut actually um, so the next bit is basically to go going from the edge there's all these little bits to pick off but basically you just pick away and find an end and you'll be able to unravel the yarn right back to your row here that's on the needles and if you do that for both bits then I'll show you what to do next. So I've completely unraveled those extra threads. I've just rolled them up in a little ball here. Whoops, that one. So I took it all back. First of all, uh, there was just a load of these bits um, to take out just along the, the edges. And then I found the end here that I could just roll up and unravel and unravel those few rows and eventually come back to the beginning of the round so that I'm ready to begin knitting. I'll start with using up um, this one and I'll just join in some more of the same green uh, when I run out of this one. And I'm just going to start knitting on it now, uh, starting at the beginning of the round. Um, and I'll knit a few rows first and then come back. Okay, so I've got the sweater here to show you. Um, and I can show you where I'm up to now. Here's my beginning of the round. And I just continued round and I've knitted um, I've knitted up to here so that's replacing the two rows or the two uh, colour changes here and then knitting knitting through so that I have um, some extra length as well once I got to the point where I wanted to rejoin the other section that was here then um, I put my two needles together and I just started doing Kitchener stitch all the way along here. You can see it's still detached here and I've got to this point at the moment. So if I turn it around you can see that it's still looking pretty detached back here. It takes a long time to Kitchener stitch it together but it's worth it because it creates just this completely invisible, seamless um, join. It's brilliant. I might pop a bit in the video just to show you how to do Kitchener stitch and then tightening up my stitches as I go if they look a bit loose and uneven. I just have a sewing needle and I'm just kitchenering together a set of stitches at a time. I'm working my way along and this will basically, once it's finished, it won't look like it's been sewn together. First thing I'm going to do is go through with a needle purlwise and this thread needs to be the same colour as the row that you're essentially replacing by kitchenering this together. So purl, and then we're going to go on the back needle and go into the first stitch there, knitwise, like that, and pull that through, and. That's only on the first two stitches. Now we're going to start um, kitchen a stitch proper. Go in on the first needle, 
knit wise like this and you just put it through and then let that stitch drop off the needle and then you go through the second stitch on the same needle going purl wise like this but instead of dropping that one off you just leave that one on there and then you go to your back needle here you go through purl wise on the first stitch on this needle pull through and let that one drop and then in knitwise through the second one and this is going to sound really complicated if you haven't done it before but you've got enough practice time going around the sweater and you will get the hang of it um yeah just say to yourself first needle knit wise and drop purl wise stay purl wise drop and knit wise stay so knit drop purl stay purl drop knit stay and you'll basically gradually be sewing together your stitches So there we've gone in knitwise. So going back over to here, going through again, knitwise, drop, pearl, stay on, pearl. And drop and knit stay on so after I've sewn um, a few stitches I just go through and using the back of my needle here I just pull through the stitches just to tighten them up And there you go, look at that, a beautifully extended sweater. Totally seamless mm. and amazing looking. Be proud of yourself and also don't forget to extend your sleeves if that's also what you need to do. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click the button to like and subscribe.